Hey guys, today I'm here again. This is with Naruto with the incarnation of Hagoromo and Hamura. Naruto's going to be the incarnation of Asher as well, it's just, I can't fit Asher on this title. The screen recorded as is, and I had to cut Hagoromo's picture in half, because I have, I have Hamura off screen. So yeah. In this one, Naruto's going to be very overpowered regardless. If you guys don't like it, sorry, but yeah. If you guys don't like the thumbnail, sorry about that too, but what do I want to work out well regardless? Now... In this one, basically, well, Hagoromo and Amara, not Amara, Hagoromo and Hamura spirit can already tell that Inja spirit isn't going to stop anytime soon. So the Nakami reincarnates, they're going to reincarnate with the Ostra vessel to give, make him strong enough to actually suppress the Intra. Hagoromo himself and Ostra can do it, but Hamura insists on actually helping his family. So the three spirits combine into one and go into Naruto, who was born. That makes Naruto reincarnate, and Naruto's eyes are now, well, one of his eyes, instead of being blue, like it usually is, it would turn, it would turn white. A little more than not, white, but gray. His other eye, instead of being blue, would be purple. Now I'm going to show you what Naruto's eye, eye would look like. So, I'll just click. Let's see my worries, Byakugan. Naruto's eye is going to just like, one of his eyes looks like that. While Naruto's other eye, instead of being gray around the sides, it would actually be, be, be purple. And then the iris in the middle would be would be black. As Naruto naturally the Naruto gets older and stronger, the purple is, would expand into a Renegon. So yeah. Now when Naruto's five, he would actually fully awaken the body of Indra and in, not Indra I me mean, of Ashura immediately. And get some of the knowledge of Hyuga techniques from Hamura. I assume Hamura and Hagoromo and Kaguya originated the Hyugakugan techniques or the hand the hand comic style. They originated some of the moves. So with that, Naruto already knows a few of the moves, and already able to take down some some Chunin and Genin pretty easily and attack him. When he takes them down, it was pretty damn easy. And with that, well, they they report to like Hyuzin and some other Shinobi that yeah, they yeah, Naruto can use Hyuga style techniques. Where did this guy? This word got to Yashi, and he wanted to test Naruto, saying, "Oh, if he can defeat Chunin and Genin with our Hyuga style skills, I want to know what I want to see what I want to see what he can, what he what he knows about it." We send out some Chunin and Genin from the Hyuga. And they fight Naruto. Now, the Hyuga evolved over the years, so their techniques are a little more evolved. But these techniques, the Naruto uses are a little more old fashioned in the first techniques. And because no Hyuga really uses these anymore, unless they're the clan head, these techniques are catching them off guard, despite them being weaker. So, Naruto eventually wins, but not, not without a few bruises and cuts. And the next year, Naruto officially graduates the academy. So, Naruto would have the body of Indra, not Indra, I mean, of Ashura, Hagoromo, and Hamura. Because, like, parts of their body will start just to fuse with Naruto's. But Naruto's body is already insanely strong, stronger than anyone in the world, including Tsunade. Well, not yet Tsunade, but... Tsunade's, like, 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 the last, like, the last level of strength he needs to, to beat. He already beats everyone else. And then, his speed is already surpassing that as well, as he's already as fast as a regular body flicker. And he even learned it. He learns all, he learns all of Jutsu just by seeing it. His eyes are like a built-in Sharing Gun without even activating it. I already awakened that one, the one I'd be on. And, yeah. And then we have, we have his mind, who's slowly becoming more like Hagoromo's. But so far, it's more like a mixture. Well, it's almost, it's almost becoming Hagoromo and Hamura, but it's like a mixture of both right now. Uh, a mixture of, of Ashura. Like, well, mainly Ashura, but a little bit of Hagoromo in there. So he's a lot smarter. So he's able to go to the academy at six years old. Same age as old Sanin. So with that... Everyone assumes, well, everyone that knows who Naruto's father is, assumes he may actually have the part of Jijin and Minato even greater, even greater possibly. Because he graduated earlier than Minato, four years earlier at that. And Naruto already, already showed more prowess with ninjutsu. As he can already, can already use three of, the, three, of the, three of the natures. He can use earth, water, and wind. And here he can already, he can already somewhat try to, like, he's learning how to, how, to, how to tree walk and stuff. He's learning how to do it. Well, yeah. Now we go all the way over to, um, I guess it would be, I guess it would be when Arto was 10, that's like my limit, no, not 10, 9. When he's 9, he has a record of over 100 D ranks and around 50 C ranks. And he's known as just, as just the, as just, well, hmm, he's known as the Junior Flash, which is because He's, just, he's insanely fast, but not as fast as the Yellow Flash. So they assume he, has, he may, might have some relation or is from the same clan. Now, Oniki does she request information from Hirozen, like, 
We want to know what we're dealing with. At least he was that. And he was kind of lying, but not at the same time as he's from the same clan. He's someone in our village one day, and we kept him ever since. So, like, oh, so they call him like, like the Junior Flash because he's 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 part of the same clan. Has no blood, has no no blood relation besides clan ties. Nothing. That's really it. And they said they said they say he's a hybrid. That's really it. And no one else like Kushina and they were married unless he runs at the Hidden Leaf. So they don't know he's Uzumaki. And they don't get his name because it's forbidden to get that out to the villages because that may actually result in the Hidden Leaf being attacked. Now, if that didn't, that wasn't if that wasn't the result. Then Ninja would gladly say, say his last name out loud, but the, the, that can be helped. So yeah, they're not really fights other villagers if you like someone's across them on a mission and they attack first. But yeah, no, when he's nine, Naruto really mastered every single nature release, in, and including three kick Genkai, including dark release, steel release, and wood release. So, yeah, the Dark Release, kind of just learned that from, like, observing a few shinobi that had it from other villages that were sending out where, like, oh, yeah, we're going to kill you because they're bounding in your head, like, like, every other shinobi from the Leaf, not every other, but, like, stronger shinobi, they're bounding on your, on your head for at least, let's say, uh, let's say 100, no, let's say, let's say 1 million yen, so, like, I'd give it, I'll, I'll check that real quick. So, Naruto's bounty is 10 million yen. So, around 80,000 $80, or $87,000 if I round up. So, $87,000 in total. That's his Naruto's bounty. Or, like, just, if you the reward you get for killing him. So, he's, he's on a few dark few dark, dark dark style users, or dark release users, and he's killed them. And, with Naruto's, Naruto's body, body reacting to the chakra, plus his built-in Otsutsuki DNA, he had accidentally observed... Well, absorbed the dark release abilities and uses it. Then with with, really, with wood release, he just he legit learned how to use it just through combining chakra natures. And then same with same with steel release and yeah. Now, we go over to uh, when Naruto is around twelve years old. When he's twelve. Well, he's being determined. Well, he's being like they're kind of insulting whether they should promote, promote Naruto Naruto Chunin without even letting him take the, the exams because he'd be too strong. Naruto, at this point, he's he's he's, he's Konohamaru's teacher instead of Ebisu. He's she's Konohamaru's trainer, and Konohamaru is the youngest grade of the academy. And Konohamaru shows his friends to be some of Naruto students as well. With that, Naruto is given the rank of special Chunin. With this, Naruto does take Chunin exams to prove he can be more than just a teaching a teaching Chunin, because Naruto, Naruto so far he's been like a teacher only for Chunin level. Like he's done Chunin level missions, but it doesn't give doesn't get the full perks of them. So only some of them. Yeah. So, so Naruto is, is Moegi, Konohamaru, and Udon teacher. And they all look how they do post time skip, minus the height. <laughs> so, yeah. The basic Jutsu, by the way, that he's taught, that Naruto's taught them would be Shadow Clone and Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu. It's the basic Jutsu they all have to know uh, at minimum. And they also learn their own version of Sexy Jutsu. Udon and Konohamaru know normal, normal Sexy Jutsu. Well, then Moegi has to learn reverse sexy jutsu, which is just her turning into a very sexy man. And then Konohamaru and Udon, females. So, yeah. Or sexy females. And then Naruto, he stole, he stole the scroll of healing a few times to memorize every single jutsu he has. Because Naruto, not every jutsu he has, every jutsu the scroll has. And he does it pretty damn well, because he's never been caught. Now, Naruto memorizes some jutsu the scroll of healing, has body flicker, and... and in a perfected flying Raijin, and he's now known as the Yellow Flash, or the Perfect Flash. That's what they call him because he starts in the Yellow Flash, and he almost started a war because he was too fast. He's seen every single village, but the first village to attack, of course, a hidden stone. He killed every single shinobi there with one single kunai, and and, a, and four total well, well flying Raijin kunai. The moment that he teleported those kunai, they released hundreds of shadow clones, and those clones immediately threw their own kunai, and boom. Technically, it was one kunai, because those clones aren't really, well, people. So, they count as one kunai. <laughs> so, yeah, the son of Naruto solved a war by killing thousands of shinobi himself. And his bounty quickly rose up to almost being the billions, at 500 million yen. So, I'm going to find a number for that. So, around, so around four, so around four, four million dollars. That's Naruto, that's Naruto's bounty. Four million dollars. So, now... Um, so, yeah. so Naruto at this point, 
in Udon. I'll have all have Tashok Lenjutsu, Mojishok Lenjutsu, Body Flicker. Here, they can at least use one Ninja Release perfectly. Not perfectly, but they can at least use it to some degree. Gotohamaru can use two, being Wind Release and Fire Release. And Udon, being Earth Release and Wind Release, and Moegi, being Fire and Water. Well, those are well, Moegi and Udon's nature, it's just they can't use both. Udon can use Earth, Moegi's, and Moegi's with Water. Well, Gotohamaru can use two. And Naruto so far is at least a um, at least a B rank in every single category. Well, except for Taijutsu, Fuling Jutsu, or Taijutsu, Sling Jutsu, Jutsu, that kind of stuff. Plus Sword Jutsu. He's at least a, at least like a C or D rank, so pretty low in those scales. For Taijutsu, he's like a C plus, so almost a B, but not not, not that, not really, because he perfects other skills more than Taijutsu. And he's already awakened Byakudan and Renegon. Now, Donzo and Hiyashi, well, Don, Donzo, and, Donzo knows about the Renegon and Byakugan, and Hiyashi's aware of the Byakugan only, doesn't know what the other eye is. But, basically, what everyone calls another, the Naruto's other eye is the Eye of Gods. And before they graduate, around a month earlier, Sasuke would seek out Naruto. Because, as opposed to the eyes of the gods, do exist, we'll see if Naruto can decipher something for him. So, Sasuke would seek out Naruto a month before they graduate, and bring Naruto to the Uchiha secret, secret area. Now, well, yes, yes, Naruto, if you can read it with his, with his god's eye. And Naruto doesn't know everyone's referring to his Renegon. So he just closes his Byakugan and reads, reads the stone tablet, saying, yeah, I can read it. So I'm trying, like, at least what the stone tablet would say. So Naruto, Naruto with the Renegon is able to see what like that's altered, but also what it's supposed to say. When Naruto reads it to Sasuke, it would go over the history of the Sharingan and how to, how to improve it, even getting to Mangekyo. But would tell he would talk about the Uchiha's path of hatred and love as, as, as they, they, they prove it the most. But does warn, do not recreate the Renegon. And Naruto immediately tells Tetsubo what his Renegon is called. He does tell Sasuke, oh, the name of my eye is in there. Well, I guess me and you both just learned it. It goes over the infinite Tsukuyomi. As, as, well, Naruto tells first, first of Sasuke what the altered version says and tells him the full story of it. And it goes over the Renegon, Sharingan, all that stuff. And when Naruto flips it over, it's something that even only a Renegon can cipher, not even Manga Kyo can even say a single letter of it. So only a Renegon exclusive. So in order to read it all, Sasuke is able to, able, to, able to hear what it says, and it's just the whole history of Hagoromo and everyone else. Like, it's like a, well, let's say that it does like the brief version of where this, where like, the history would be. And Naruto, Naruto looks at Sasuke saying, All right, I'm going to go find this. This is supposedly somewhere around here. So someone so, so looks for it, able to find it, and then reads Sasuke the history. Of Hagoromo and everyone else. Now the Uchiha didn't even know that this was there, because well, Bakusetsu hid it, hoping the Uchiha would find it, but they didn't. So when Naruto reads it, it they, get, they get the history of it, and yeah. Well, that like they didn't read about the they didn't read about the Indian Asher reincarnation cycle. They don't know about that either. But yeah. Now with Naruto learning all this knowledge, when he goes home and he goes to sleep, he enters his mindscape. He enters his mindscape. Let's pause one more time. Sorry. So Naruto enters his mindscape, and when he enters it, he would see five figures and one gigantic beast. Immediately, Naruto Naruto able, able to identify the features of the beast, knowing that the nine tails. Well, it's the people, and only three of them actually actually have figures. When he speaks to the three, to the three, well, the figures with actual bodies. When he talks to them, they go over who they are. Hakuromo, the one who made the stone tablet. Hamura, the, the brother who had helped defeat Kaguya. And... And Ashura, the reincarnation, well, well Naruto's reincarnation, not Naruto, the reincarnation, well, Naruto's reincarnation, well, Naruto's reincarnation of Ashura. So, they, they, they get the whole history of, like, from their point of view and everything, and they talk about the, the Indra reincarnation being Sasuke. And Naruto's already in the path of breaking that cycle reincarnation, because he'd already, he'd already printed Sasuke by helping him a lot. And when Naruto did hear about Sasuke's goal of revenge... Sasuke hearing about how the Mangekyo Sharingan is supposed to be supposed to be awakened. Sasuke is kind of discouraged because he hates Itachi with all of his heart. So even if he kills Itachi, he doesn't know there's nothing to gain from it besides just satisfaction. So Sasuke is kind of being discouraged from killing Itachi, but wanting to question him. So Sasuke, so Sasuke is doing a little more studying of the Uchiha. Just to get all their history. And he even asks Hirsen about it, and Hirsen does give him some things. Not a lot, but some. But yeah, just go over that with that side note. But no, the figures that there's a People the figures with bodies that identify themselves as Hagoromo, Hamura, get the whole history of the of Indra cycle as well. And then Naruto asks about other two figures. Ada see one of them, who's wearing who's wearing a cloak, 
and has very spiky hair, similar to Naruto's. Another one with long, flowing hair, and, mm, well, similarly, just casual wear. We saw the beast in the back saying, that's the nine tails, isn't it? I wonder what Nod's saying. The two people without, without actual bodies. They'll show themselves more and more as you get stronger. But until you're, until you're, until you're strong as so, so you're strong as need be, they will not show themselves. But you know Naruto Uzumaki? Also, are your father and mother. Naruto's eyes widened, tried to like, actually make the figures appear using jutsu, anything. But it didn't work. Naruto immediately demanded the sage, Hamura, and Asha make them appear, but Hagoromo says, if he wanted to make them appear, he would. But Naruto needs to get stronger. So Naruto takes his word for it, and he loses his mindscape after, thinking, after saying goodbye and thanking them, and even getting, well, the Nine Tails his name. Naruto doesn't insist, on the, insist that Naruto learns his name, so Naruto can get stronger. Now when Naruto, Naruto leaves his mindscape, first things first, the chakra of, of Hagoromo, Hamura, and Ashura fully manifest in Naruto, as their abilities have been latent, or laid back a bit, but immediately, Naruto's chakra would spike to his all, to all time high, as his Tensegon awakens. His Renegon is in full is in full blast now, as it's, it's that, that's fully awakened. Well, Renegon's already awakened, his Tensegon is not fully awakened, but now he can use the, Reneg the abilities of the Renegon, and the abilities of Tensegon. Honestly, with the Tensegon, I bullshitted half of that, because Tensegon, there's not much about it, Well, the Renegon, we have the, the full damn scale of it. So with the Tensegon, I kind of like, added some Renegon abilities, but altered them in, in reverse. Like, I made them like reverse abilities, like summons and stuff, but yeah. Now, eventually, Naruto would... Well, since Tensegon awakens, his Renegon abilities are now possibly activated. And then Naruto would have two strange spots on his hand. These strange spots are where his Dark Release is, but suddenly his Dark Release would disappear. And, well, well Naruto still feels the presence of it, it's just his Dark Release symbols are different. They change into two slit-like patterns. And, and when Naruto opens them, we'll get to activate Dark Dark Release... But if you use a chakra into these symbols without opening normally, they turn into, well, eyes. These eyes are more or less to, let's say, you should not screw it. The idea I had is kind of stupid, so I'm going to try, try to work it in later. Never mind, these hands, these are still dark, these are still dark, dark release symbols. But yeah. Now, we go to one month later. Not able to use ring on abilities like, uh, also, he awakened Sasuke's abilities and Madara's abilities, like, like dimensional travel, swapping places, adding limbo clones. I'm going to go over just a list of abilities. Um, he's able to see, he was able to swap, swap places like Sasuke, dimensional travel like Sasuke. See Chakra Flow, he already, he already does that does that with, the, with his Tensegon. See chakra, then he, he double shoot Chakra Rods, use the Deva Paths push and pull abilities, plus, plus Chibaku Tensei. Then he's able to use the Ashura Paths Mecha Enhancements. And then he's able to, to use Human Path's soul yanking thing. I, I, I like the phrase soul yank a lot more. Because he gets memories and um, knowledge of the soul he seals, which also kills the person's soul from the person's body that the soul is missing from. And then the animal path, he's able to use the animal summoning. And then with the Praetor path, he's able to absorb the chakra and use the chakra absorbing shield. Then with the Naka, with the Naraka path, the King of Hell, the Outer path, revive the dead, transmit chakra, and, chakra, and use chakra chains. Then double summon the ghetto statue, use limbo clones, absorb and release chakra, using absorb and release chakra, not chakra, I mean, absorb and release jutsu, that's, that's Momoshiki's ability, and he's also able to use chakra pills, not use, but create chakra pills, and then he's able to, he's able to use well, the animal summonings. And then there's the ability of Urashiki, which is kind of like Urashiki and Kinshiki, like, Kinshiki can create the weapons of, from like, from pure chakra, and then... Urashiki is able to like get able to get your blood on him and kind of able to like see what see what you're gonna do next like predict predict your future for the next few seconds, not predict but know your but like know your future moves for the next few seconds, but yeah. Then he's able to do all that, all that with his running gun. I'm not gonna go over to go over to say Tensegon yet because he's only not used Tensegon for a while unless it's for like like basic 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 gun things. He's not aware Tensegon has abilities, and in all honesty, Tensegon's lots. It's a lot stronger than Renegon in my ability, not ability, in my opinion. So yeah. So, so what you want when I list off the, the Tentagon abilities, you uh, you have to admit that Tentagon's a lot stronger than Renegon. <sighs> but yeah, now, um, Naruto, oh, his rank of special special tuning still stands. 
but Naruto is going to be an assistant teacher to Team 7. He's he's assistant teacher to Kakashi Hatake, or Kakashi's assistant, or secretary, whatever you want to call him. So when they arrive, well, when Team 7 team teacher is announced, Naruto walks in, saying, he's their assistant teacher, and the real teacher should be here soon. But Hamaru, Moegi, and Udon follow, as, as Naruto says, says this, is, this is his, these are his students, well, these are his first students, and they'll be part of Team 7. Sasuke and Sakura think that Naruto's messing with them, until Sasuke does realize, well, if they're not to train them, they're bound to be strong as hell. In reality, well, Kodohamaru, Moegi, and Udon are now 10 years old, and they can all let you, use, use at least two Shaka natures. Naruto already, already, already learned where Sengon and this in this teaching to Konohamaru. So Konohamaru's in the middle of learning where Sengon, and then Udon can use can use earth and I believe so, I believe so, I said earth and fire. Then Moegi can use earth and water. While Konohamaru can use fire and wind and earth. So yeah. Now Sakura still thinks that that like that Naruto's playing with Sasuke. She wants to test out their skill, making sure that he won't have weaklings on his team. Doesn't know Sakura is weak, but doesn't know about Udon, Moegi, and, and Konohamaru. Really, Konohamaru looks at Sasuke, saying, "I, I can tell I tell you don't want to fight us because you think you're weak. You want to fight. We'll make sure we want to make sure that we're strong enough to not be treated like babies." Sasuke would nod, and Sasuke would run at Konohamaru. But immediately, Konohamaru appears on Sasuke, kicking him back of the head full force. Immediately, everyone sees blood shot Sasuke's nose. They can tell. That's not easy to do. So, Melee Sasuke is being, being manhandled with obviously with obvious levels of high taijutsu. Both both obvious well taijutsu that's pretty obviously high level. Eventually as Sasuke is being put in a hold, Sasuke's arm the only way to escape it is either break your arm or submit. Sasuke submits on his arm broken, and then Sakura is being given help be out of her by Moegi. Every time Kakashi arrives, Sakura has been healed, so it's Sasuke. And Moegi, Udon, and Konohamaru prove their point that they're stronger than Sasuke and Sakura. With Sasuke, he learned a little bit more in Firestyle Jutsu, and that's about it. Fought, fought Udon, Udon is going to match every single ability Sasuke would use. So, Udon was taught, was taught advanced Firestyle by Naruto. Just to say that. But, yeah, pause real quick. Now, um, Kakashi arrives, look at Naruto saying, Oh, hey Naruto, how's it going? Kakashi and Naruto know each other from just going a few missions together. That's really it. Because like I said, Naruto is a special tuning. He's able to do some tuning missions. And if Kakashi is there on like a mission as a team, Kakashi occasionally does ask, ask Kirsten, oh, my next, on my next level mission, can I bring Naruto along? And he's like, oh yeah, sure, if Naruto wants to. But usually Naruto's not allowed to do that unless it's like someone asks for Naruto specifically. And with Naruto, Naruto would, would release, only Yamato and Kakashi know about it, plus his personal team, and... And Konohamaru isn't allowed to tell on Naruto, so, yeah. But Kakashi arrives, seeing seeing, seeing, seeing Naruto's mini-team, saying, Oh, so I guess that, uh, that you'll be the teacher until they're strong enough to be trained by, by me full force? Naruto not saying, No, I'm probably just training them until you, you get proper teaching methods. And instead of just making sure your team works out normally. I'll work on their teamwork, and then then when you get better teaching skills, then then you can start start teaching. Because I've seen I've seen, I've seen how, you, how you treat your students, it's good, but I'm better. So get stronger, do more missions, and get better at teaching. Then maybe I will, I will like teach teach them, and I'll not be a pseudo teacher. So yeah. Now for the next two well the next two months well for the test it wasn't the bell test it was quite literally to at least catch Udon Moe, Udon and Moegi catch them at least because Konohamaru is stronger than Sasuke and Sakura combined right now. Like he can he can out he can manhandle Sasuke easily. Like this 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 Konohamaru can take down Junizium Sasuke. That's how strong this Konohamaru is because of Naruto. Like this Konohamaru, his are saying is complete, but can at least push back the Chidori. Not like not even like not destroy it or anything, but it will push it back a bit. Or and then Konohamaru is also a lot faster because well he he learned about chakra enhancing. But yeah, so the next few months, the training, the training, the training goes on with Konohamaru, not Konohamaru, with Udon and Moegi having been taught by Sasuke and Sakura when they have to be. Well, they don't catch them, but Udon and Moegi confirm that oh yeah, they put in good effort, and if we were any slower, they would have caught us. But instead, we we're fast as hell, so it didn't really help. Now, first things first on this team, something that we changed around. With ninja pouches, instead of the kunai being being explosive, like with the explosive tags, explosive tags, 
that's been changed around to be the flash bomb tags. And then the flash flash grenade or flash bomb and balls, those are gonna be close of tags balled up and made to look like flash bombs. So if anyone just able to cover their eyes, you see I think it's gonna just flash being a big flash of light, no, you're gonna get blown up. Dark and Sasuke see the value in this, I'm like, oh cool. So yeah. Then Sasuke also gets obviously it's like Sharingan training from Kakashi. Does Sasuke don't want to learn that because Naruto deemed him deemed him already decently at ninjutsu, or deemed him decent ninjutsu. So Kakashi's allowed to train Sasuke at least for his Sharingan. And Sakura is getting training for ninjutsu and genjutsu because Naruto knows she's a, she's a genjutsu type. Now Naruto that one month also did learn how to like get better at everything. Point where every everything is at least like at lowest grade is a B minus. That's what we give them. Or actually, no, like the lowest let's say a B, like a regular B. So yeah. Now the first first mission is going to be Land of Waves. Anyone tells us no walks in telling about the mission, like just the extra details that that wasn't able to fill in the mission report. I'm just able to tell like Tosin's leaving out things. So he uses his running gun to tap into Tosin's mind, and when he does that, well not mind but Genjutsu him. And then you'll see a like a like a thing to his mind, but Tosin spills everything. And he's able to, to able to hear about like, oh yeah, what I'm leaving out and everything. Like Tosin says, oh yeah, we're, everyone's, everyone's taking us over and we're being robbed and scammed, basically. And then you hear that Tosin he hears and like, oh, this is above a C rank mission. Like this makes him higher, dangerous shinobi. So at most we can we can call it at least at most I mean an A rank. At least it's a B. At least. Uh, seems seven, the one with want to continue, and the response responses. Damn, old man, you're stupid. If you think, if you think we, don't, we don't, we don't, we don't want to continue. You're just laughing. I, I guess, I guess that'd be your response. Uh, Sasuke, Sakura, you guys want to go or do you want to train? Because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, Konohamaru, Udon, and Moegi can handle them themselves. They cannot. Here's just overestimates them. Like at best, Konohamaru can compare with, with like Zabuza's like just sheer strength. That's it. That's really it. They can't do much more. Like, I think they think you put up a good fight and actually injure injure Zabuza a lot in Haku, but that's really it. And the injuries and like no like no official win or death. But yeah. But Naruto actually, actually says that he requests that Hiruzen and Asuma train his team for him. And then he will go he'll go and do every, like just do the mission with his regular team seven. Hiruzen agrees with this. And then Sasuke, Sakura, Naruto, and Sasuke go on the mission. Well, team Naruto. Udon, Moegi, and Konamaru are trained by Asuma, by, by, team, by team Asuma, and, and Hiruzen. Team Asuma includes, like, Shikamaru, or the Inshikacho trio, plus Asuma, that kind of stuff. Now, when they come to the Demon Brothers, Sakura breaks the Genjutsu and he just punches them both through trees, and then Sasuke interrogates them using his Sharingan for Genjutsu. And then, when they come to Zabuza, when the mist rolls in, Sasuke breaks that Genjutsu with a rabbit, and with the mist, Sakakashi it will blow it away pretty easily. Then Naruto. I have to go over one thing that I would go over for my characters that are higher. I just remember what you see here is just there's, there's no Jonin vest. Hands wears a basic little long sleeve t-shirt. The guards around his wrist and hands. The basic ombu shoes. The shinobi sand. Uh, shoes, ombu pants. Shinobi sandals. Bandages around, around his legs. The gloves. And yeah, Naruto, Naruto. Naruto just wears casual clothing. He just has arm guards and stuff. But yeah, so uh, when the mist rolls in, Sasuke is able, okay, Sasuke, I mean, Kakashi is able to blow it away with, blow it away, blow it away with the wind jutsu. Then when the blade is thrown, Sasuke is able to jump and grab it. And mainly Zabuza thinks that those three, like Sakura, Sasuke, and Kakashi are the fighters, one of the fighters, while Naruto is just the one that's, that's on standby. But immediately Zabuza rushes at Naruto, you turn to use silent killing technique. Naruto immediately is able to actually counter all the techniques or able to dodge, able to dodge and see through them. And that's when Zabuza realized, because of how fast and easy he's countering, silent killing. Naruto isn't the weak, isn't the weak link. He's the powerhouse of the team, and is just holding back or letting them do their own thing. Immediately, he, immediately as Zabuza's open, he sticks right into the air, but Haku would throw kunai and Senbon at Naruto. Sakura would then throw her, throws like her, um, throws her explosive ball at Haku. Haku thinking it's a regular flash grenade, would actually just cover his eyes, but is blown up. Is blown up. So as as Haku is just hit hit with the bomb, he shot back in the tree and passed out. 
Subs at Southern says, Oh, you guys are you guys are a team of tricksters, I see. Through to Kakashi trying to attack him as he attacks, it doesn't really work out too well. But eventually Kakashi is able to actually shove a kunai right through the hole of the top of the Kushina blade and pull back, making it flat of Zabuza's hands. Zabuza thought that was a little too easy pulled out of his hands. Or that was e too easily pulled out of his hands. In reality, just Kakashi got so physically strong that that was that was nothing. So, yeah. As soon as he soon as Zabuza was in that moment of shock, sees everyone hears what hears what I'm trying to say. Almighty push. Suddenly Zabuza is flung into a tree and is passed out. Now Naruto will go to Haku to if he can heal him. Because Naruto isn't too, like, like isn't, like, he's not too keen on the king of hell. Maybe he does try to heal up, um, heal up Haku normally. It actually is too late because Haku had died. So I'm so, so just kind of sad. But then a voice in, in Naruto's head would ring out. Hagoromo. Hagoromo tells Naruto the steps of the path, path of pain. But how strong Naruto actually is, and how much chakra he has, because she'd probably do more than the regular six paths, at most ten. So Naruto thinks of the steps of the path of, pain, the path of pain, and this leads to Kakashi saying, Naruto, what are you doing? That's when Naruto tells them to cover their, cover their eyes, they do, and Naruto begins stripping Haku's clothes off and stabbing, stabbing chakra pins into him. By the time he's done, Haku gets Haku's clothes back on, and then he puts Haku's mask on, but add a little bit of addition of a little bit of paint. Let's say Naruto had some on hand in case he got bored. You gotta paint Haku's mask black, and the rings around the eyes, like, you put the rings on the eyes that are purple. Kind of like eyeliner around the mask. But the eye holes are purple. Then, when Haku got back up, Haku had a running on, but you couldn't see it. Now, eventually, when the Team 7 pushed eyes, a little nervous because Haku's awake, and Naruto explains, his eyes have an ability where he's allowed to actually make a like a person, a vessel for him. Not a vessel, but like, I guess a puppet. It doesn't about what the success of pain is and how Haku's the first path. And I'm going to path of pain that Haku could be. So, uh, we have the outer path, the Naraka path, the Prater path, the path, animal path, and Asha path, Deva path. I'm going to give Haku the human past. Because Haku seemed a little more human than most characters in Naruto. So yeah. So, Naruto, so, so, so Haku is the, is, the, is the human path. The human path's abilities are just like, are like, like yanking out souls and getting the information and memories. So Naruto, like I said, he's able to add like, like, he's a lot stronger, has more chakra than a regular Rengan user by default. He's able to add on some things for, for the path of pain, and what he does for Haku is basically allow Haku to like speak the information that he that he collects, and for certain people, he's able to have a full blown conversation. Like it's like he's like kind of kind of reanimated once he sees a certain person and wants to talk to him. But these people have to have like like, like not, not authorization. So I was always excited to see Haku with Team Seven and ask question him, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not to explain what he did. Immediately, Zabuza was pissed off when Arto makes a chakra rod and to Zabuza. That was the question he stabs into his hand. Not like through it, but like, like puts it in deep enough for him to draw blood. And immediately, Haku turns to turn Zabuza and immediately hugs him, and they begin talking. That was immediately began crying, because even he can hear Zabuza, he can hear Haku's voice even in his head. They can have a full conversation without saying a single word. Zabuza's first words to Naruto are, thank you. Zabuza puts, puts, uh, puts the rod actually in his mouth, but is able to actually, like he transforms it into something else and puts it in the pocket of his mouth. So, he's actually able to keep it with him at all times. I saw my brother slamming on my door because he's a baby and wants in my room. <laughs> he's like, like, like a baby, but yeah. He's a, he's one years old. But yeah, so it was a thanks Naruto. And then, eventually, I'm possibly quick turn. So yeah, now, now they, they get to land the waves. And when they get there, well, when they get there, Zabuza actually helps help the bridge, and Narden and Narden Narden makes clones that begin reinforcing the bridge with all their might. One way from the bridge would need at least a few hundred explosive tags to even to even like be brought to pieces. Wait, like, only to only to build the bridge is built, and then he reinforces it with wind with no wind, but not with wind, but with earth release. So yeah. Now, um, Haku and those Zabuza keep talking, and Haku is able to teach Sasuke a certain Kikigenkai, because Sasuke, during his time, is actually learning, learning different chakra natures. 
what we need to see at least a decent understanding of in the first few days would be um, would be wind and water. With earth, no, with, with wind, you're going to be slightly, uh, slightly with that. Water was the hardest part, and he's able, when he will just learn it normally, he's able to use at least one ice release jutsu. In soccer, just learns like basic taijutsu and more genjutsu with one, with one earth release jutsu being headhunter jutsu. And because she has such, such like a presence, headhunter jutsu is perfect for her. It's only more, it's not me worse in soccer, it's just honest opinion. So when, so when all of Gato's men arrive after a few days, is they're at, I'm at the bridge by Haku. They can really tell it's Haku because Haku's hair is down over his mask a bit, and his mask is a different color. Haku's clothes are dyed black and purple, and he even wields the, the, the Shushin's blade. So it was, was asleep, so Haku grabbed the blade and then went out. So now immediately he begins slashing all through all of Gato's men, even using using Senbone to slash their throats. And after around two minutes, all of them are dead. Which is not even two minutes, after around forty seconds, they're all dead. Who's Gato? He also asks Gato for all the information about like where the money is. Gato immediately didn't want to give up any information because he thought he'd make it out make it out of his life by by bribing Haku. But immediately of the different ways being speaking through Haku, and it was Naruto. Not Naruto had said. Gato, that's not gonna work by bribing him. Haku is nothing nothing but a corpse and and he's nothing but a corpse puppet right now. And I'm controlling him. And I already have these decent decent amount of money. So might, might as well give him information. This village needs it back. Gato refused to even say a word about it. So with that, Naruto Naruto, Naruto would, would, would relinquish his, his control over Haku for a second, like just the voice control. Immediately Haku begins using his human path abilities and pulling out the soul of Zabuza. That's what I mean, soul out of Gato. When the one he pulls out the soul, he gets all the information. And says it out loud to Naruto and everyone else, everyone else in the village. Now, Naruto ends up looting the pockets of all the bandits who had some money on them. And when he gets all the money, he actually puts it back in the village. And he had at least, let's say, let's say, at least $8,000 worth of, worth of money and valuables on them. Then they go to the base where Gato is. And then they get every bit of anything that's valuable. They clear the whole, out the whole place and able to pawn it off after a few, like a week or two. After a week or two, everything's pawned off, the money's the money's officially back, back to the village, and a quarter of it goes to the hidden leaf. Now, um, the, when the hidden leaf shall be leave, they go back, they go to they go to hook, they go to Konoha again, they go to Konoha again, they go to Konoha again, and it's three weeks till tuning in the exams. And during these three weeks, Sakashi personally trains personally trains Sakura and Sasuke, Shin Sakura and Genji too, and how to withstand them a lot easier. And then Sasuke gets, gets into his Chidori training and his Sarnashangan training. Naruto occasionally joins in to train with Kakashi because Kakashi doesn't, can get a lot stronger from Naruto. While then with Team Konohamaru, or Team Naruto, because that's what the that's what the three little kids are, Udon, Moegi, and Konohamaru, that's Team Naruto. But team, but team, Naruto, but team Naruto begins learning, basically Konohamaru finishing up his Rasengan training to make it perfect, because Naruto already has perfect Rasengan. And then Konohamaru went to that, and to give Udon a little bit of an advantage, because he's the physically weakest, he gives Udon the advantage of the body flicker. So Udon learns, learns body flicker. Then Moigi, what she does basically just learn, like, she's, like, she's the most, she's the smallest one. And, like, physically, she's not, she's not the weakest at all, Udon is. But she's a little, like, she looks a little more thin and smaller. Though, she's, like, lack of presence on the team, because no one expects her to Sakura. She doesn't look physically fit. Well, Hinata isn't, isn't like the one that has no that has no physical presence on the team because she has Byakugan. Or with Ino, she's, she's a Yamanaka. She, they're kind of obvious because of their eyes. Well, Sakura and Moegi look average, so they're not they're not thought of as strong. Unless an experienced Shinobi would think of them as like, every, like, I have to hope they're strong. Or not hope, but know, or assume they're strong. Now, um, Moegi basically learns various ability of clone jutsu as she knows. Blue Shirt said she knows water she was water and earth so with those she learns a earth clone and and when the clone is discovered or not discovered but when the clone is hit it explodes into sh- like just pieces or shards of earth anything with a water clone in the, moment, in the moment it's like destroyed it immediately wraps a, 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 a water bottle a, a water bowl around you and then suffocates you slowly and the user disperses it but yeah so that's really it. Mogi mainly learns clone jutsu and different versions of clones and how to make them different. Yeah, so training, like, a week, 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 
not a week actually, so like, if you like three days before the training games begins, we have Naruto, who would just be walking through those with Konohamaru, who ran off and wanted, wanted Naruto to chase him. Immediately, Konohamaru would turn the corner and bump into someone. When we would bump into this person, it'd be Konkuro. Now Naruto comes around the corner, he slow down a bit after like, like two minutes, he comes around the corner, he sees Konohamaru being living hell out of Konkuro. I goes from against the ground, being punched in the face, rapidly to Konohamaru, as Konohamaru says, But actually, if you think you like beat me up, I'll kill you! And he immediately punches punch Konkuro in the face, until Samari pulls him off. Immediately, Konohamaru, Konohamaru kicks Samari right across the, right in the side, making her fly back, and shoulder side realizing and Konohamaru is not just, is a Konkuro isn't weak, it's just... Konohamaru is strong! And immediately, Gar is on Sand, and Konohamaru is thinking, especially knowing how to kill him. But immediately, Sand falls to the ground. Well, Chukaku... If he had a penis and was out, he'd piss himself and shit himself at the same time. Naruto's presence scared a Shukaku. Immediately, Shukaku took over Gara's body, saying, No, back up, back up, don't come near me. I'll kill you. I'll, I'll destroy this village. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly Kurama just took a nice Naruto. Let me, let me, let me use your body for a second. No, no, Naruto agreed. It's like Kurama said, said, Shukaku, you bastard, what are you doing to that poor kid? Shukaku says, Big, big brother. Is that, is that father in there with you? And this is when Kremlin says, Father, Uncle, and, I guess, our other brother. Now, this is confusing to Shaku, so guys know he, know he means, like, Ashira or Indra. Immediately, Shaku began bowing, saying, Father, please don't hurt me. I, 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 did, I didn't intend to hurt the kid, he was just weak. Immediately, Hagoromo spoke up, because, like, they're, they're not his mind, they're conscious. Immediately, Hagoromo spoke, took over, and began ridiculing Shukaku. I'm so shocking and says, if I ease back, wait, it's not really keep ridiculing me. Something I've never experienced before, especially by you. So with that, that Shaku agreed, and so did Hagoromo. And immediately Shaku expresses himself to a full ability and said Gar's mind. Gar shakes it off, he's like, huh? I feel tired. Not not to control his body again. He's like Gara saying, no, come here. Gar has something walks over until until Naruto flicks him on the head and he passes out. So, as soon as Gaara falls over, he comes over on Naruto, and Naruto will look at the sand sibling, saying, Whatever you just saw, ignore it. You two, you two, you two, Konohamaru. Konohamaru would nod, and he, he picks up Gaara and hands him over to, over to Tamari. Tamari realizes that Gaara is not dead, he's sleeping. Tamari didn't realize that, like, how Gaara was like, like, yeah, I'm just going to, uh, like, you have to suppress yourself and let the, let the kid live normal life. So, Baki turned the corner to Gaara asleep, and he sees Naruto there. But not but not just follow following team team sand team or sand trio. They get to go, they get to their like their place of sleep, I guess. And they throw his hole. And Naruto went to Gara's mind and spoke to Shikaku personally. Gara is there as well. And ends up being talking to Shikaku. So Shikaku and Gara come to a decent understanding. And with that, Naruto tears the seal off of Shikaku. And Naruto is met, is met with a spirit. The spirit being Gara's mother. The spirit immediately tries to pull Naruto away, but but Naruto doesn't listen, just pulls the seal off, and it was Shukaku. Now, Gar's mother expects Shukaku to attack, but he stays still, sits down, and crouches, saying, Please don't kill me. And Gar's mother immediately realizes that Gara met someone strong. Gara meets his mother, mother officially, and they begin talking for a bit. While well, Naruto actually is able to have Gara, Gara uh, first come to understand Shukaku, then Gara's mother, and Shukaku talk, come to understanding, then Gara, and Shukaku come to, come to understanding, so on and so forth. Now, eventually, Gara would um, would would go come out of his mindscape after actually gaining full control over the not, not just over the one tail chakra. You can summon it at any time, and you can use the hybrid transformation form at any time. It just doesn't look as freakish. Now, um, three days past, Trinity exams time. Now, Team Team Naruto will will Team Konohamaru taking the exam the exam himself, and then Team Seven's doing it himself as well. So, when Team Seven walks in immediately. First person to attack them is still Rock Lee, but now Neji's Neji's joining in. Mainly as the fist comes close to Sasuke, the goal for Naruto but Sasuke catches both their hands, saying, And I really thought I would I would let, I would let you have my captain. Gara uh, Gara, I mean Rock Lee and Neji will shock because Sasuke stopped them both in their tracks. Sasuke wasn't, wasn't even in the building, he was outside. Sasuke was outside eating something, because the building said, Oh yeah, no eating. So Sasuke was outside eating something. But he saw not not about, not, not about to be attacked, and he caught them both. Eventually, 
They began attacking Sasuke rapidly, hoping they could overwhelm him pretty easily and let them face Naruto. But he was kicking crap out of them all. Eventually, my guy was watching in shock that both these things were being manhandled. Sasuke went through went through his story training a lot earlier and has a 220 Sharing Gun. Not even using Sharing Gun is able to take care of Rock Lee's speed and take advantage of Neji's Huga style. So, yeah. Now eventually, after like, after like Rock Lee and Neji are tired out, or Sasuke would say, Alright then, well, since you two are tired out, you probably can't break the Genjutsu, so I'll do it for you. They tap with their heads, and Genjutsu for them is broken. And they would be able to get the testing room, but they don't like the pity. Well, then, we go over to Tenten, who's just in, in a, who was amazed watching Neji even be manhandled and Rock Lee being outmuscled. Well, then, she came, like, as, Rock, as Rock Lee and Sasuke, not Sasuke, as Rock Lee and Neji were walking by her, they were walking with her, actually. Yeah, Rock Lee's like, Tenten, why do you want to thought about that? Just thought it was being beaten and shocking? This well, no. At one point, you know, you, you'll be beaten in your life, but Sasuke said something that scares me. And she says, what is it? He says, and she says, he said, I'll never let you go near my captain. So assuming that Naruto is the captain of the team, what could he do to you two? Neji and Rock Lee didn't realize, what, didn't realize what, what Sasuke had said. My guy from behind them says, Naruto will tear you to pieces in seconds. Kakashi even stated that Naruto can handle him on his own. And they heard about Kakashi and Guy's rivalry, rivalry and Guy's like, oh, yeah, he's my equal. So they accept that and like, oh, if you can take down Kakashi with no effort... Then that uh, includes my guy sensei too. So, if you can take down my guy Kakashi, what can you do to us? And like the guy said, we're both gonna shreds in seconds. Yeah, so everyone's gonna shock to see Team Konohamaru there. So I'm referring to Team Naruto now as Team Konohamaru. So this team Kono Team Konohamaru will proceed with the Genjutsu. First like the like the tree at the gate, like, oh you can't get past us, but Konohamaru says, release! And the Genjutsu shot off. And she's like, wait, what the hell? How'd you do that? And he yelled, listen to the great Nar great Naruto Uzumaki. You think you can beat us? You're damn stupid. And that's when everyone who knew who Naruto was and how strong he was were like, oh, that explains it. Shimaru and Choji and Hinata, who are still somewhat of Naruto's friends, they know who they know that the Naruto trained them. So they're like, oh, well, we know this. So it wasn't really a shock. A pause real quick. So, no one, no one really expected Team Konohamaru to be this strong, but everyone that doesn't know how strong Naruto is, like, oh, if they're his students, we, we may be outmatched. Even Kiba, like, even Kiba lost his, lost his like, cocky attitude, was like, oh, I actually may lose one of those brats if I ever fight them. So, just the possibility of Kiba probably might lose to them was kind of shocking. Now, we go to the written test. Naruto was actually able to disguise up. Like, he's able to like, actually grab one of the guards and place him under a Genjutsu, and Haku was able to transform into them. So, so Naruto being able to see through Haku's eyes was able to actually get the answer to the test, or at least see the smartest person in there. It was Naruto, but Naruto would double check the answer to people and was able to identify if they're wrong or right. So Naruto just used a blend of people's answers to get it right. Then Haku, using his like ability to read minds in some form, if you have a chakra rod, but you're able to read Haku's mind and eyes. Well, Sasuke had a chakra rod, and he, put, he kind of just like had one of them in his mouth, and he pressing it against the roof of his mouth, making him bleed, and be able to tap into Haku's eyes for a brief second. Sasuke didn't need to do that, but he thought it'd be easier, because he can see Naruto. And then, Sakura did the same thing, because she, 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 she could see Naruto. They copied all of, all of, all of, all of well, Sasuke copied Naruto's movements, Sakura got a better view, as Haku was able to at least use his eyes to do different, different things, like zoom in. So he was able to see that, and with that, uh, Sakura is able to, able to get all of Naruto's answers. Now, no, 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 the no, 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 now he did feel bad, but he at least was able to give Konohamaru a chakra rod before they went in, and Konohamaru was able to write down his answers, and it seemed we were able to copy some of his movements, and with their experience with Naruto, they were able to at least get half of the answers right, which is enough for them to pass. So, eventually, they got, they got their stuff right, and, yeah. No, Naruto, no, Naruto has been working for being four minutes, Sasuke got five, Sakura got seven, Sakura reviewed the answers, she could have been in Sasuke, but she reviewed everything. 
Then Konohamaru was able to get 10 minutes, and Moe and Udon got 15. But yeah. So, Naruto even has a new record of the best scores. He already had the record at the academy, but now he has the record at the opportunity exams. After an hour or two, or five, Uncle breaks in, does the whole second processing around Proctor. Everything that everyone gets voted in or out, it will not, they vote themselves in or out, and the same people go in, including Team Konohamaru. Now, Ebisu, like when Naruto's on missions, even without Team Konohamaru, Ebisu's the teacher for them, and Ebisu's, Ebisu's cool, cool with Naruto, because, like, oh, you train them really well, they're strong, some of them, like, if, they, if they're, their teamwork makes them, make them stronger than me. Just some, I wanted that note just to go, but yeah. So as soon as they get to the um, exam grounds, Naruto was kind of, Naruto's kind of experimenting with his Tensegon abilities because he's learning how to use those properly. I was experimenting because he wants to see if he can use Bakugan abilities the same way, but Tensegon, but a lot stronger, and he's right. And he's able to, like, like just someone sees someone watching him and doesn't know who it is, but he's able to see it's a, it's a person with a hidden sound, or hidden grass, actually, because they're trying to sell their bodies. He's able to see someone with a hidden grass village, and he's, like, dozing off in thought, thinking, like, what, like, what could they want with me? Why are they watching me so closely? There's something the Kunai's thrown at him, but Rock Lee suddenly appeared in front of Naruto, grabbing the Kunai, and he could tell that Naruto, that Naruto saw it coming, and, and Naruto's head was tilted. But what Rock Lee only reason he grabbed the Kunai was saying and said, I will not allow you to kill my, um, will not, uh, will attack my um, future rival, because it's my job to beat him. And so far, he's above me in every single way. So, well, I will not let you, uh, will let you kill my physical goal. And Uncle Kurai tells him that I'm not going to dodge it without even looking at her. So, like, oh, regardless, he wouldn't, he, would, he wouldn't have been hit. But yeah, sometimes it's kind of just cool to Anko and Rock Lee. And immediately after, like, um, after, like, Oshima thought, well, thought when Naruto didn't dodge it, maybe it was Naruto's watching him. He felt the presence of Naruto staring directly at him, or felt, 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 felt Naruto's presence directly towards him. So, kind of like a interact stare down between Naruto and, um, and, or, and Orochimaru. But yeah. Now we go to um, basically when they all get their scrolls. Team Seven gets a Earth scroll. Team Gohan gets a Heaven scroll. As they walk in, Team Gohan meets up with Team Naruto and throws them their scroll, saying, "Think, think, we, we want to start fresh and take everyone's scroll and scroll for ourselves." But but Naruto not, not just laughs, saying, "Not gonna harm you. You don't need to do that." Even Naruto pulls out his purple scroll, throwing it to them, saying, "Keep them. You, you can do some more than us." Plus, if you do find someone. Pop- Someone stronger than you, most unless unlikely, but on the possible possibility you do, you'll need those. You'll need you'll need you'll be you'll lo- you'll lose friends from stronger than you, but you'll need these in, ca- in that case, case the probability comes true. And Konohamaru, not even wanting to say someone maybe stronger than Naruto, doesn't even dare utter utter that venom from his mouth. That's Arthan. Thanks, big bro. Thanks, thanks, yeah, thanks, thanks, big bro. And Konohamaru runs off with his team. Now they they write they, 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 get, they get the record of ten minutes, and. I actually can think of the fact that Konohamaru called him Big Brother, because Konohamaru would just say, just say like, oh yeah, 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 Naruto-sensei, or, 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 eh, or Naruto-senpai, but never Big Bro, just senpai or sensei. Same with Udon and Emoyi, but coming from, coming from Konohamaru almost, almost made Naruto cry, and Sakura and, and Naruto's, so, not Sakura, Sakura and Sasuke saw Naruto tear up, and Sasuke and, and Sakura being teasing him, but, but Naruto's like, eh, shut up! Shut up, shut up. It's a, bit, it's a very emotional moment for me. But they go um, through the forest, and eventually they do find, like, the same hidden hidden um, rain team. The guy that can, like, phase through liquid, not look through solid objects using Genjutsu. Uh, when they find that guy, with the guy that Naruto had to fight, fight when he's taking a piss, and when they find that when they find that team, Naruto immediately just used Almighty Push, then flying away. And was, when, like, all the stuff was sent flying, he found the scroll, and used Almighty Pull, catching it, and then they, they ran off. They're at they're, they're the 15 minute mark now, and then they come across Orochimaru's team, and they're fusing, not fusing, but they're, they're with Kabuto's team and the regular Hidden Sound team, or Hidden Sound trio. So, or Team Orochimaru, Team Kabuto, and Team Dosu, they attacking Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura. But Naruto immediately put, this, put those through, through both scrolls to Sasuke and, to Sasuke and Sakura, and split up. They do, and they run off. Well, Naruto jumps in the air, and kind of like, like a bit of a levitating thing, then says, Almighty push. Now that shockwave sending, sending them all flying back and over the gates. And by the time they land, they were all in their basic gear. But when Anko saw them get 10 flying over the gate, they thought like, oh yeah, they were probably they were probably just hit by a strong attack. This is before they found the bodies. 
Let's head back in. Uncle gets a report of the bodies and, and who it was. So immediately she really realized it was her tomorrow and ran it after, ran it after him. But as they went to, as all the teams went to where Naruto was before, like the hidden sound teams, they realized that Naruto was already gone. And Zaku, well, so Zaku and Kine were dead, so it was just Dosu that's left alive. But not, but not Naruto meets Sasuke and Sakura at the whole tower, with Team Konohamaru waiting outside for them. As Ebisu, Ebisu was, they already summoned Ebisu and then he left. Then Sakura and Sasuke already summoned, already summoned Iruka, and Iruka couldn't pass them, so he waited for Naruto to show up, and they're like, okay, you showed up, you're here, bye. And then Shingara arrived a little bit late, but they arrived. They arrived one minute over their original time. But yeah, so Team Konohamaru holds the record of the fastest ran through, this, ran through the force of death. Naruto's team plays a second as they got as they got they got twenty eight minutes, and then we have team we have team Gara at thirty. Sure they got thirty six minutes in canon, so this leads to Gara being at thirty seven minutes or team Gara. So yeah. Now we have uh, basically just the five days of training. Naruto's Gara in his room constantly trying to actually tame, trying to get him and Chikaku to be a lot be a lot closer because they're like okay, but it could be better. So Naruto does establish a mind link between Chikaku and and Kurama and Naruto and Gara. Once this link is established, Gara begins going over everything, and well, Gara Chikaku go over, go over the whole history with Kurama and Kurama and, and, Naruto, and Naruto talk. When Naruto would summon not summon but Agoromo, Hamura. And, and Ashura up here, and they're able, they're able to make Shukaku calm down a lot more, and they're able to actually, well, well, Naruto doesn't really, already has, like, has the Sage Chakra, all he needs is the Sage, sage to pass the Chakra mode, just like Kurama, the Kurama won't give it to Naruto, because he's so young. So with that, Hagoromo only needs, like, like only needs half his power, technically, because Hamura can give more of it away, and Sasuke has Indra, so half his power would go to Gara. So, when Gara gets Sage power, this has to allows for Gara to actually have some form of KCM. In reality, he's able to at least control sand freely, like he can control control Shikaku's can not canned sand freely. He can make it make like the sand outfit, not like the full state of six paths mode. But as you get Sage Chakra and able to make like like a pseudo like a, like a pseudo um SCM Shukaku Chakra mode, like, like, like a pseudo version of that. SCM Sage Six Paths mode. <laughs> so yeah. So Gara's power is already boosted a lot. So yeah, now um yeah, if Sasuke was kinda of going undergoing Genjutsu training himself with us as, as, as Naruto placing him in Genjutsu and Sasuke has to endure it. And let Sasuke, like when he started investigating Itachi in any way possible with some information he got from Hiruzen, Sasuke kinda of got very like like upset. So when he went through like the mindset of when he went through like what Itachi went through or the possibility of it going through that, also watching his parents die over and over. By the time five days are up, the preliminary start. Sasuke already has a big joint Sharon gun. And yeah. So Sasuke already has already speak to my Sharon gun. Sakura's shock control at its peak. And then we have Konohamaru, Udon and Moegi. It's going to be like trying to mix in Chakra Nature with his Rasen Gun like his big bro Naruto can. Because not Naruto can mix every single Chakra Nature into his Rasen Gun. So we're talking so fast. But yeah. And then Udon and Moegi try to learn more and more, more truck of nature, so they have scrolls for it. So yeah. And Tamari was basically training with training with training with Moegi and Sakura in their rooms. And then Konkuro and Sasuke were bonding in their own way. And Konohamura also apologized for for kicking, for kicking Sasuke in the head that one time at the Academy. But yeah. So between the morning start, and Team 7, Team Gara, and Team Gunhamaru are all in peak condition. And no one no one limbs shot. The same siblings are overpowered, and Gara seems a lot stronger. And Baki does ask Gara about it, and Gara does say he can only only display this display this like um this secret with the with the Kazakage. And Rasa was notified of Gara actually being at peace with his tailed beast now because of Naruto. And now Rasa does know he owes the Hidden Leaf for them also holding back on such a strong shinobi attacking them. Plus, they're already really strong, so if this war did start between them, no ally would stop them because it would be perfect flash. So eventually this leads to Rasa actually telling Hirsen about the plan with, with Orochimaru. And Hirsen does actually say, like, you, you will have to pay for wanting to attack us and plan out and plotting with our enemy. So we will only, only request money, not a lot, because we already have a lot from Naruto. 
we want at least, let's say, say 10, not 10 million, let's say like, wait, wait, wait $1 million. Because it's like, it's if the attack does go through, we need this money for at least some possible repairs. So here, so, you know, let's, just, let's just give them 10 million, just in case repairs are needed. So now the village already, already on, on prepare, or prepared for the attack, possibly, but yeah. Now, I'm going to go over all the preliminary fights. I can pause and find out all of them. <laughs> okay, so here's what's going on. So Team team Kabuto is here, but alongside Kabuto this time. Sasuke versus Yoroi. Sasuke beats the living hell out uh, of Yoroi. Like, he abuses Yoroi. And then we have, we have Zaku versus Shino. Zaku's dead. So that leaves, actually, well, Konohamaru versus Shino. Konohamaru obliterates. Then Misumi being, um, being... Being, uh, being the other teammate of Kabuto. This one, let's say Mizumi died in the Almighty Push, leaving Udon to fight Konkuro. This fight, this fight actually ended in a draw as Konkuro's puppets were destroyed, but Udon was actually cut a few times by by, 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 by poisonous blades. They weren't deadly, but well, Konkuro didn't make it deadly because Udon's a kid and he owes the hidden leaf. And someone started a war because he, he killed one. He actually killed one of the villagers, so they actually made it made a paralysis poison. Over Gonkuro can even like, oh yeah, I'm gonna win. Like by, by putting Kunai to his neck, he passes out from tracker exhaustion and just tired. And then and Udon does the same. So it's a tie. Sakura versus Ino. Sakura abuses the shit out of Ino. It's not even funny. Like Sakura body slammed her, throwing throw her against the wall, punched her in the face till she was till she was bleeding. Like Ino looks dead at the end of this fight. Well, Sakura's not even scathed. And well, Team Asuma was just like. Did did she kill Eno? <laughs> we have Tenten versus Tamari. Tenten lost. Shikamaru versus Ken. Ken is dead. So Shikamaru versus Moegi. He wins. Mo Moegi got Moegi got shadow paralysis, and, and Shikamaru knows he cannot hold back one bit. Like, like this is this is not a student, so we took that a lot more seriously. Like he had to be serious. So as soon as she was on shadow paralysis, shadow paralysis, he made her hit, hit her head against the wall. And he won. And then Naruto Nar Nar versus Kiba. Kiba submitted. He didn't want to fight. Hinata versus Neji. Hinata and Neji actually tie because Hinata being pushed by Naruto being so strong trains a lot harder, and can beat Hanabi, but is tied with Neji. So she got she tied. Gara versus Rock Lee. Gara obliterates Rock Lee, but doesn't doesn't put him in serious serious injury. What happened was as soon as Rock Lee went for attack. Suddenly, a giant ball of sand slammed Rock Lee in the ceiling, then to the ground over and over until Rock Lee was unconscious. But in return, Gara walked walk, walk right over Rock Lee as Rock Lee thought, Nick, Nick, the fight's over, don't fight over. But instead, Rock Lee's coded, coded in, in Kilby's chakra and healed. Gara, Gara gives an innocent smile, saying, Sorry for being so rough. Rock Lee immediately got up crying, saying, 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 your, saying your, 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 your swordsmanship is something that everyone, everyone should strive to have. Thank you, thank you for giving me for giving me a fight, or even, or even, or even not, or not like, like seriously injuring me. You're actually going easy on me. I can tell you were. So yeah, then Dosu, the Dosu versus Choji, like team, like, like well, well not just friends trained a lot harder, and then Dosu versus Choji because Choji got affected by the just I'm gonna train harder. Well, in this one, him and Dosu tie. That leaves two ties. He's Udon, Udon, Udon versus Konkuro, and and Dosu versus Choji. Uh, those, those are the two ties. Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> so, if Moegi... Not Moegi, not Moegi. If, um... What was it? <laughs> Fucking it doesn't say, screw it. Yeah, so, the one, the one month of training. This one month, Naruto is... Well, on the first day, he's brought to the... Well, like, after training exams, he's brought... After preliminaries. He got to Hirsu's office to meet Jiraiya. And Naruto already deems himself stronger than Jiraiya by yards and miles. So Jiraiya tells Naruto, oh, if you can beat me in a fight, then, well, if you beat me in a fight, which probably won't happen, then I'll go off on training you, but if I win, I get to train you. Naruto agrees, and then when the fight starts, Jiraiya sends flying through the trees, with Almighty Push. As soon as, as, soon as Jiraiya sends flying, he gets back up and runs at Naruto, repeatedly being shot out with chakra rods, Almighty Push, Almighty Pull, Anything, anything that Naruto has up his sleeve, he's hitting Jiraiya with. Until Jiraiya jumps up in the air, using a flaming Rasengan, all the last bit of his chakra. But to his amazement, Naruto Naruto summons a giant Rasengan, and then yells, then yells vanishing Rasengan. Throwing it right at Jiraiya, as it hits Jiraiya's Rasengan, completely obliterating Jiraiya's Rasengan, circling it back around. As Naruto's, as, as Naruto's Naruto, Naruto vanishing, ah, Naruto's vanishing Rasengan, has extra ability. 
biting string tethering. It could basically make Sonarto uses uses a from Shengun, like a tether ball. So as soon as it goes around Jiraiya, Naruto notices Naruto smacks it back at Jiraiya, making it hit Jiraiya, sending him flying into the tree, and passed out. Naruto did not get hit once. After an hour, Jiraiya wakes up, and somehow he's fully healed without a single broken bone. As soon as he, as soon as he wakes up, he realizes, he realizes it's nighttime, and, well, there's fish cooking. He looks at Naruto, he happens to be shirtless, and talking what? It's obviously, it's obviously, it's obviously sweat because he smells very bad. But Dry asks what happened, and Naruto explains, oh, he beat the living hell out of Dry. Dry didn't even get, Dry didn't even get within 10 feet of Naruto. But Dry would ask Naruto about the vanishing of Sengan, and Naruto explains what he does with the, with the scroll of ceiling. He breaks in, steals it, reads the whole thing, and masters a jutsu. He claims for every jutsu in the scroll of ceiling, he has mastered it. Even, 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 even the wood release. And Dry is amazed. He... Naruto and Naruto are able to display the wood release to him, and yeah, with that, Dry would tell Naruto why he thought that why he thought that he should train him, and shows Naruto Naruto shows Naruto the picture of Minato, and in the picture of well, Nagato. Back to the beginning, when Naruto had when Naruto went to his mind for the first time, the vestiges of Minato and Kushina were there, but Naruto, if you saw them saw them now, you only see the lower half of their body, not their faces. But it's the picture of Minato, who's an adult. And he immediately put together who, the, who, the, that, who that was. Naruto made me a laughing and crying, saying, So that's the man that is my mind. Or my, or my mindscape with nine tails. Then looks at Minato, his picture, and now Minato's full body is, appears, and throws Kushina's. Kushina's, I mean. I, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that I, I, I just said Kuina, not Kushina, but yeah, so Kushina's full body appears, so it's Minato's. Their heads appear, at least. But yeah, so, so we're going to go through the first week. Naruto just learns basic summoning jutsu, and he's able to unlock every single summoning of the Rinnegan. And Dry teaches, teaches Naruto how to master the abilities of the Rinnegan, and he does that pretty fast, so... Now on to the Tensegan. Another week, on, another week goes by, but I'm gonna go over the, the, over the summonings of the, um, of the Rinnegan first. So, summonings of Rinnegan. Gato statue, Limbo clones, um, Shibaku, I don't know, it's Shibaku Tensei, so... Gato statue, Limbo clones... Dog summoning, like, if you hit it, it goes another head, or if you somehow kill it with an attack, it goes another head, and then attacks you again, like, like a Hydra. And then we have the Lizard summoning, or the Chameleon summoning, as it turns visible. Then we have the Drill Beak Bird, like, its beak is basic, basically a drill, and it flies, so. And with the Moon Pushy, there's a Panda summoning as well, so Panda. And then with the Ox, the Rhino, the Crab, it's called, it's called, 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 called a Crustacean, but I'm assuming it's a Crab, because Crustaceans. And then the Centipede summoning. Tensei on abilities and go over these now. So track and repel, track or cloak, track or sword, true seeking orbs, mind control, and this ability I made up at the end is called it's called gravity tethering. Because there's so little abilities, I'd make up some of my own. So the gravity the gravity tethering basically is it ties ties your gravity to someone to like, to like a rock. Like, oh I summon I use gravity tether on you and a boulder. The boulder will, will come flying at you, or you get something gets 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 it flying into a boulder. One of the two. Then, for the animal summonings, I made it like the predators or opposites of these animals. The dog summoning, its opposite is going to be a hyena, as hyenas are pretty, pretty sure they're, more, they're more closely related to cats. So, yeah. So, hyena summoning, it's an ability that's more like if it scratches or bites you, or whatever you're using, it's poisonous. Then we have, we have a honey badger summoning to counteract the lizard summoning. The honey badgers eat, 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 quite, eat quite, literally, quite literally anything that they can, that they can kill. And what Honey Badger does is enhances an ally's durability or stamina if it leaves a certain hand seal. The hand seal either weakens the enemy's durability or enhances your durability, your durability depending on the hand seal. For Owl Summoning, you can cast an infinite Tsukuyomi Genjutsu. For Owl Summoning, its opposite is a Drill Big Bird because an owl wants to smoke with their, quite literally everything. So the owl casts the infinite, like the infinite Dark Darkness Genjutsu, like, like Tobirama did to Hachitu Kiruzen. So that counteracts the Drill Big Bird. Then the Snow Leopard. That counteracts, that counteracts the panda. The uh, snow leopard, its ability would casting a snow genjutsu, but it does make the, make the opponent think they're in a snowy blizzard, and makes the body think they're freezing to death really fast. Like, like time feels a lot slower, and the body is freezing to death. It's like it's going, going through time a lot faster. Well, not slower, but a lot, like, time feels faster for them. It makes their body basically get hypothermia, frostbite, anything, anything you can imagine. They die from it if, if it's too, on too long. Grizzly summoning. That counteracts the ox. I'm pretty sure it's reported that some grizzlies killed, killed killed an ox or something. 
like a bull something, maybe. The grizzly summoning doesn't really do anything special. It's just, it's just insanely strong and big. And the elephant summoning, that counteracts the rhino, because elephants suck. Elephant summoning is just like seal with walks. He's like, doesn't need to need to use seal, so you insanely strong water sour release jutsu. And the lobster summoning, um, crabs. It's like the opposite of a crab at some points. So then, yeah, so we have, we have the lobster summoning, and what does have, have the two giant pinchers, and they can hold enemies in place or or distract other summonings. And then the beetle summoning would counteract the centipede summoning. Now, some of the ability of the um of the what was it? Some other abilities I didn't mention of the Tensecon would be like the planet destroying and recreating thing, like planetary destroying. <laughs> so, so, so not just already planetary, planetary level. But yeah, so this is all the abilities Tensecon. So yeah, so in two weeks he learned how to match, match the Renegon and Tensecon. Then he goes over to the uh, so he goes over to or goes over to his Mindscape. In his mindscape, he does meet me meet, meet, meet Kushina officially. But now Naruto has to master, not master, but learn, not learn, but use an ability he never thought he'd ever use. So the abilities he's going to use will basically be, well, the reanimation jutsu. Use on Minotan Kushina, and what he basically does is sacrifice a few clones. That's really it. These clones are so, are so strong they had life force. So what he does is just use those as, like, like I guess, like, um... His vessels. So I means Kushina summoned other clones. And Naruto begins using his his like um six packs of pain on them. Now he has want to use on Kushina, but Kushina insists that no, well, she wouldn't really, really be any stronger than, than she'd be in her own prime, while Minato would have in this chakra. So just say that the Naruto that she's she's saying Naruto's mind, Minato can stay in person. With Haku. You guys are wondering where Haku goes when Naruto's not using him. Haku just does just, 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 just does all of all of Naruto's chores. That's really it. Minato goes home. And he just chills there. So yeah, that's really it. And now on, on the third week, Naruto actually travels to Hidden Sand with Gara to, like, to actually beat Shukaku because they haven't done that yet, and that unlock all of Gara's full power. So they beat Shukaku after like after like four days, well, three days of travel. Then they meet, then they meet, then they meet Gara. Gara fights fight Shukaku and wins. Then you know, then Naruto heads back to the Hidden Leaf, and it's been a week. So now final week. First, for this final week, I tried to head Mount Miyoboku with Jiraiya, and learned Sage Mode. Now he learned Sage Mode immediately because when the when the elders like the, when, like the elder Sage Toad sends Naruto's chakra, he made the demon didn't to see him, and talked to Naruto about Naruto about how he met the Sage Six Paths. So yeah. So with all that, Naruto basically was able to like uh, learn all the abilities of of Sage Mode. Now, Naruto's first round of Trinity exams. I'm gonna pause. Wait, I forgot to do it for something. The tie was Hinata and Neji. That was a tie. I forgot to say that. Hinata and then Neji were a tie. Dosu and Toji were a tie. And Udon and Konkuro were a tie. So I'm gonna go over all the fights for the, for the finals. Let me just find a list for it. This fight where we should start would be, would be Naruto versus Neji, but Neji was in a tie. So that leaves Naruto, let's say, against. I think. I think about this shit. Um, Naruto versus Shikamaru. Shikamaru is murdered. He does not dead, but it is, that's fight, that's fight's not, that fight's not even close. Shikamaru doesn't want to like forfeit, but doesn't encourage him to stay. He buys into it, then he's the hell beat out of him. Then now Shikamaru versus Tamari. That fight is replaced with Sasuke versus Sasuke, Sasuke versus Tamari. Tamari is just hit in the back of the head and knocked out. <laughs> and then Sasuke versus Gara. That fight is going going to be replaced as pity with Gotohamaru versus Gara. Like I said before. Gunnar Hamaru is on the level of tuning exam Sasuke, and he did go a little bit, a little bit stronger, it's just he learned uh, he learned how to defeat Shaka Nature and do his Rasengan. So when you run the right towards Gara as like giant like like sand shield thing, Gara did use that. Just to, like at least like Gunnar Hamaru think he has a, think he has a chance. And when Gunnar uses Rasengan against it, the first time would use would use, would use wind release with it. With that, he blows apart Gara's Gara's sand shield and lands and lands a decent punch right on Gara's cheek, sending him flying back a bit. Konkuro, not Konkuro, I mean, Konohamaru and Gara being fighting, and Gara's superior Taijutsu, because Gara did learn Taijutsu from Naruto, not a lot, but some decent moves, he actually able to actually beat Gara, not beat Gara, beat, beat 
going to harm her by grabbing him and kneeing him right in the groin, full force, knocking him out, just, just through sheer pain. Then, uh, pause one more time, sorry. So I'm going back to the screen because I just remember the fights. Sasuke had just fought Tamari, Zaku versus Shino, that fight was replaced with, with like, um, with, I believe Konoha versus Shino. And then Misumi versus Konkuro, that's replaced with Udon versus Konkuro, and Sakura versus Ino. Sakura. Sak Sakura needs to fight. Uh, Sakura versus... Hmm. That's, that's really it, so... Let's say they, let's say with the draws, they disqualified those and allowed them to fight. So Sakura, because there's no draw, Sakura's fight is going to be versus, uh, I think my screen's frozen, pause it quick. So, they allowed some people that got draws to fight in training exams as special fights. Sakura is going to fight, let's say she's going to fight, uh, Udon, Con Conqueror forfeited. So, she's going to fight Udon, she actually wins, but barely. She has superior physical strength. And then with um with Hina with Hinata and Neji, Hinata would have to fight uh yeah, just Neji again. So Hinata and Neji fight for a place in the finals, and this line this time Neji does win. Then Dosu Dosu versus versus Shoji. Shoji wins. But now then we'd have well, training things aren't interrupted. The plan with Ochimaru is backfired because Rukuno has there's so much security, so he has to he can't attack Konoha. So the final fight would be Choji. Well, Choji, now, he already beat Dosu, so now Choji versus, versus Gara. Gara obliterates Choji, and it's not even funny. And then, we have Neji versus Naruto. Naruto just punches Neji across the face. He's like, the moment the fight starts, he dashes and punches Neji across the face, knocking him out. And then, we'd have, we have no, Shikamaru's qualified, so. That'd be Sasuke versus Sakura, let's say that. That Sasuke's able to beat Sakura, but she just puts him under Genjutsu. And as she breaks out of it, like after like a second or two, he's she's probably, she's probably pushing the gut, knocking her out. So Sasuke versus Sakura, Sasuke wins. Then uh, um Konohamaru versus I guess the finals would just be let's say Konohamaru versus Naruto. So Konohamaru would use his Rasengan, and Naruto punch, Naruto punches away. And that he had but Konohamaru into the ground and he wins. Then Sasuke versus Gara. Some Gara wins because of, of the six paths powers. So with that when he when he beats when he beats Gara, when he beats Gara, when Sa Gara beats Sasuke, well, it was a decent fight because Gara Gara's so slow compared to Sasuke, but Sasuke just couldn't compare to Gara's raw power. Even with the Sharingan, he was caught up in the whole thing of just Gara using half the same the stadium to his advantage. So he won. Final fight would be Naruto versus Gara. And Gara though it gets in the ring would want to forfeit, but but which shock encourages him to at least prove his worth as a Jinchuriki. Back to this. So immediately, Gara 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 tried to use all the stadium to his advantage, but not when Naruto realizes it's a magnet release and it's earth and um earth and wind. So in response, Naruto would end up making making let's say four clones. So what Naruto does is jump in the air, and then two clones, two clones end up firing off as much fire release as they can. Then using then more of them using using Earth release, not light Earth release. I mean light lightning release. So fire and fire, lightning combo. This like means we it's going through Gara's hand like saying like it's nothing. And when Gara's almost caught in it, eventually Gara is pushed back and retreats. Well, not retreats but submits. And Gara is pretty badly burned, so so so, so not heals him. And then uses King of Hell for some irreversible damage. And then use King of Hell. But yeah. But now, tuning games conclude, there's no Konoha Crush, and all's good with, uh, with the, um, all's, all is good with, with Konoha and Sand. So, after, a week after tuning exams, Naruto ends up heading to the Hidden Sand, and meets, and meets, well, meets Gara at his mom's grave, and he's able to, and able to, like, use reanimation jutsu on her, and then use his cursed, not cursed, I mean, Uses this pass paint paint technique on her, and with that, that leaves Naruto with Haku, Minato, and uh, Gara's mom. Let me find her name real quick. Karura, Karu, Karura. That's that's, that's Gara's mom. So Naruto able to make her her success clone, 
And with that, he gives Gara a chakra rod to at least communicate with his mom and his mom in her in his mind. And when Gara does make it like, only specific to his mom, he uses, he uses six pass chakra, and then Naruto Naruto infuses Gara's mom with six pass chakra, so they they can actually communicate themselves, not everyone. He did, did the same thing with Miyato, but yeah. With Haku, if you have a chakra rod, you can you you can you can communicate, you can communicate with Haku if you don't have a special chakra on chakra. But now, um, but now, um, I guess the next arc would probably be, let me find that. So first arc being Tsunade Retrieval. So Hiruzen, well, he thought he was a little, a little too incompetent because he didn't realize that Orochimaru would possibly want to attack Konoha because he's in the village. And he didn't prepare Konoha a lot on off chance that Orochimaru was too thought out. He would, he would have sacrificed too many lives for no reason. So he, so he thought of someone that could possibly possibly replace replace him, being Jiraiya. Jiraiya said no. And next choice up, Tsunade. Or Danto, but Hyujin does, doesn't trust Danto. So, Tsunade. So with this, Naruto would actually, like, oh, well, Jiraiya. How about you say in the village with Akin Hokage? Hiruzen gives you, gives, you, gives you some classes. Not some classes, but some advice. And you could probably be, probably, probably, probably be one of the elders. And Jiraiya's like, oh, they those don't really do much, so, so sure. So, so Jiraiya gets some coaching classes on how to be Elder and Akage, while Naruto would then would then run off to be not to be but to find Tsunade. And he does end up taking Sakura, Hinata, Sasuke, and um, Shikamaru and Choji, and Team Konohamaru for the hell of it. Now they, they stop at the same places. I want to go to when Naruto would actually end up meeting and touching Kisame. This time, when Naruto's sitting in his hotel room, he got just chilling, and we have well, other teams just kind of stepping out training because because Naruto, Naruto, well, Naruto, well, Naruto said they needed to train, so they're, they're training. While Naruto's in the apartment, just kind of watching, well, not watching anything, just kind of relaxing, reading a book. You haven't seen me make up paradise. So when 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 Naruto used to knock on the door, Naruto Naruto would, Naruto would actually will able to use his um tensei gun to scan through the door and see and see um Kisame and Itachi. Mainly, he sees the, the the resemblance in Itachi. So, so what Naruto does, he sets his hand with a chakra rod and is able to pinpoint Sasuke's. And Sasuke's chakra rod would kind of begin emitting chakra. What Sasuke does stab it into his leg, like kind of like tapping it lightly, like not like just tapping it hard, and it goes into his leg a bit, and he's able to get a connection connection with Naruto. And when Arthur says, it touches at my door. Sasuke immediately runs saying, just saying Naruto's in trouble. Y'all run, y'all run towards the apartment, and Kisame immediately kicks on the door. But not before they hear a loud yell saying, saying Chidori. And before Kisame can react, he slashes on the back with that Chidori by Sasuke. Sasuke has, Sasuke has his body flicker, so he's so fast. But he's, he's body flicker, and slashes Kisame down the back with it. Kisame was able, was able to jump out of the way, but couldn't avoid the whole thing. And he, Itachi was amazed. He didn't even sense Sasuke. But then Village was about ball body flicker pretty damn fast. But as soon as Sasuke would activate the Shining Gun, Itachi's like, oh, this is a 3 to This is a big deal now, because Sasuke is this strong at, for being 13. But Sasuke and Itachi engage in Taijutsu. Sasuke and Itachi engage in Taijutsu then. And they're not equal, but Sasuke is very impressive to Itachi. Until Sasuke begins using a perfected lion's barrage. The perfect, I mean, like, there's not a single opening, and Itachi cannot take advantage of that. But Itachi gets, gets hit a few times. Eventually, when Naruto actually stabs Itachi twice with chakra rods. Now these aren't lethal, like like, like what like what um M M Moshiki did to did, did to Naruto. I don't think I don't think those were lethal. They just drained his chakra or put like made it so he can't use it. Though so, so Naruto shoots Itachi one once in the leg and once in the arm, and then he can't move those limbs. So that led Itachi, Itachi being beaten by by Sasuke, and the Jutsu wouldn't work. Sasuke wouldn't listen to a word Itachi said, wouldn't look at his hands, and wouldn't look at his eyes. So, with that, Tachi's beaten, but Kisame versus Naruto. Naruto using the ability of Momoshiki plus Kinchiki will actually be able to form a form giant weapon of Chakra, mim mimicking that of, of Samehara. With that, Samehara is being beaten, and then eventually it's slapped out of Kisame's hand, and Kisame is then slapped on the ground, unconscious. Now, Naruto looks at, looks at Kisame, and immediately rips out his soul. Now, with that, he gets all the information of the, of the Akatsuki, Right from right, like right from Kisame. And so this one, Nar this one Naruto laughs, saying, "Itachi, you're not really a full-on member of the Katsuki, are you?" Itachi would say, "How do you know that?" 
Nard, some, some Nard, some Nard, Nard would say. I'm able, I'm able to use a little bit, a little bit of some of his memories, might use but see them, and some of his emotion. He was, he was expecting you of being more lowest the hidden leaf than than Akatsuki. That you would finally admit it. In Sasuke, instead of killing him, questions him, which shocked Itachi. Like, just like, like, don't you hate me? Don't you want to kill me? Sasuke had said. Naruto read the whole stone tablet to me, and he he, he ended up making me reflect. So I found out, I found out what, what was wrong with my actions, his motives, and now I finally see that I don't need to kill you. I just need to, just need to question you and find your motives. Now instead of actually getting Kirzen in trouble by saying Kirzen made him do it, he says it was Donzo in his route. So. Sasuke's new goal is that she killed Donzo, but not to the first, like, first we need to make sure that, make sure that we were able to out Donzo as a rat, because, well, he's a village elder, and a, an Hokage candidate, we can't just kill him. So, Sasuke's like, alright then, we need to do that first. Well, not first, but we need to do that soon. But, Naruto, Naruto's able to place the Genjutsu under Itachi, which is shocking for everyone, but it works. And, that's when, that's when Itachi's kind of stunned, as, 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 as Naruto put chakra rods, and Minato would body flicker Itachi right in front of, right of Hirsen and Jiraiya. With that, they realize that Tachi's Itachi, under a Genjutsu. I will not, well, by the means of the mother flicker, he, he, he flying, flying Raijins to them. Like, alright, just tie up Itachi somewhere, or restrain him, and then when he's restrained, in, in, well, well, here's the way to get, break the Genjutsu. So Tachi's restrained, in Hirsen's house. While Tachi's restrained, the Genjutsu is broken, and Tachi understands why he is restrained. But yeah. Now, Kisame's body... Naruto makes it, makes it a path of pain, and that would make Naruto's fifth path, I believe. So, Haku, Minato, Kadura, and. Oh, fuck. Uh. If, no, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that makes four. So, four paths of pain. If I'm wrong, correct me. But yeah, so, and they, find, they do find Tsunade, they find her before she offered a deal, a deal by, by Orochimaru, but the deal wasn't really like, oh yeah, you heal me, no, it's, you heal, you heal Kimimaru, and then I'll, I'll revive Don and all them, well, Don and Namaki. But immediately, before, like, before the deal with Orochimaru, Tsunade and, and, um, and, Shiz and Shizune get a knock on their door, and they open the door, they see some brat wearing a training jacket. Naruto officially looks like it looks like this now, so, yeah. And he's about to wear a tune jacket, so Naruto immediately closes the door, but when she tries to, the door wouldn't budge a bit. She immediately begins trying to, like, slam it shut, but the door isn't budging, and Shizune is amazed. Naruto is out, is out, is out, is out muscling Tsunade. Tsunade immediately doesn't think this is, doesn't think this is a, a hidden leaf shinobi, and goes for a punch, but immediately is met, is met, met, met with the sword at her neck. Sasuke looks a lot how he does, like, like in Boruto mainly. It's just, he doesn't wear, like, the cloak. He maybe he looks that way, because he thinks it looks smart. And does have a small crush on Sakura. He's always trying to look a little more, um, quote-unquote, professional. And, um, I guess... Professional and... Hmm. Professional and serious, mainly. So, Sasuke puts a blade to Shadi's neck, saying, saying, if you even try to think of killing, killing him, I'll kill you. As soon as they can tell Sasuke's in Chia, and he's like, oh, then yeah, he has to be from the Hidden Leaf. So, so, so somebody backs up, and then it goes to, like, goes to stop away Sasuke's sword, but Sasuke is able to pull his blade back in, up in time, so it doesn't so it doesn't get snapped. Eventually, Tsunade will talk to Naruto for a bit, as, as Naruto explains, explains the situation, and when Naruto explains his feats, well, he explains, like, two of them, well, then Sasuke thinks, says, like, they, like, Naruto, you're being too humble. He goes over every single feat that Sasuke knows of by Naruto. Because he, he conquered the Nine Tails, conquered the One Tails. He's amazing. And he even says, pull up, pull, pull up, pull up, pull up Paths of Pain, pull him out. And Naruto does not Naruto call this whole Path of Pain, Paths of Pain, because they die in a painful way. Or just have just lived a painful life. So Naruto ends up pulling out Paths of Pain, being Karura, Minato, oh, Kisame, and Haku. When they're revealed, Sonari's like, wow, these guys are strong. And suddenly Tsunade would end up like feeling a decent chakra and says, not decent chakra, but like feeling from feeling chakra and says, I'm gonna go, can you can you can you can can you can you talk to Shizune? Now Naruto doesn't want to follow Tsunade because he doesn't know that she won't leave. She he feels that in her feels that in her body or in her mind and stuff. 
So he talks, he talks to Tsunade, which everyone else, that's what I mean, with, with Shizune. And while everyone else is in there, they, they get along with Shizune pretty well. Tsunade is offered the deal of bringing back Nagi and Don, of, like, of those two being brought, being brought back. But she just got a, kind of a better offer from, well, Naruto. Well, a possible better offer. Did she plan on making a deal with Naruto? If she can at least bring back Don and Nawaki, then she'll become the Okage. While, while with Uchimaru, she had to help to destroy the Hidden Leaf by bringing back, well, healing Kimimaru, and she has done Nawaki back, but she doesn't want to help help Uchimaru, so she just says, I shall think on it. And then heads back over to Naruto. You know, she tells him Naruto about the deal, about the deal with, with Orochimaru. The thing goes on to tell Naruto that she wants to watch her brother and lover brought back to life, but she wants some way to at least contact them, not as a path of pain. And just say, oh, this is very much possible, I do it all the time with some certain people. Well, I'm going to have to pay and have someone to talk to. Like, Haku has Zabuza, Sasuke has, um, not Sasuke, I mean. Well, Sasuke has Haku as well. Everyone has Haku. But Zabuza mainly has Haku, that's like, that's like Haku's preferred one. Then with Kaduda, she has Gara and Naruto, and Kisame. Itachi, this is like, it's like a, like a future one, is Itachi and Naruto. And then the fourth one would be Minato, which is specifically for Naruto, Jiraiya, and Hyoru Zen. Only those three. Specifically for those three. But yeah. So, some, 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 Naruto's like, alright then. Well, I have, I have a perfect reanimation, I don't need to sacrifice, I just need to know where they, where they're buried. Like, at least, I need at least one limb, that's really it. So, I'm just like, alright, I'll try, I'll try to find where they're buried. At least try to remember. But now he's me a little hard, because not, not, now now he's in pieces. <laughs> That's what I said, but it's true. He's in pieces. But now, um, Sonata actually leaves the Hidden Leaf. Not Hidden Leaf, I mean, goes to the Hidden Leaf. We'll leave the village and heads to the Hidden Leaf with Naruto. And Team Gona, well, Team Konohamaru and Team 7. Plus, not, well, no, 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 Team 7, just Hinata. Well, yeah, she know Team 7, Team Konohamaru, and then Hinata, Hinata, Sh Choji, and Shikamaru. So, I think the Hidden Leaf actually stop for a bit, because Nar there's Naruto request that Tsunade teach Sakura and, and Hinata how to heal. And with that, well, Tsunade teaches them the basics of healing, well, well not basic, advanced techniques of healing, because well, cause Nar Naruto already did it for them, the basics, so, yeah. And eventually, when they get the Hidden Leaf, Tsunade knows herself as, like, Hokage, like, I'll, I'll be Hokage, so let's just let Naruto feel his, his end of the deal. And then, with that, they go over to Tunaki, it's not Tunaki, to Don's grave, and they're able to actually, well, for, to reanimate him. And then, Naruto, using a bit of the spirit thing, they should be able to, well, use different spirits. So, Don, to actually give him a decent, like, a decent physical body, and then, we use, use just the Path of Pain on him, making him the fifth Path of Pain. And then, we have Namaki, as, as, as Naruto did the same thing. Like, the spirit was just, was just to give Namaki a vessel, because he already had a spirit with reanimation. But yeah, those two, two, two spirits combined. What they really did was well, 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 not to put Kisame's spirit inside of of um of Don and then or Dan, whatever we call him. Let's say Dan. So Don, so Dan gets gets the spirit of Kisame, but he, he's not affected whatsoever because he's a stronger, stronger will. And with that, he gets his normal body, but that's a path of pain. But I forgot to go over like what like what paths of pain they get because there's six paths of pain, and then the paths are taken. So six paths of pain. Once there's more than six, well, you don't really get any specific, any specific ability. You get to, you get to, we get to, no, we get to share paths of pain with people. So yeah. Now Haku's the human path, so that gives him the soul yanking ability. And then I'm going to make Don the Deva path or the the, the Deva path. So the push, the push and pull ability. And then. For um, for Namaki, because he's a kid, I think he'd think he'd love it. He gets to be the Ashra path, like the, 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 the missiles, the bullets, the mechanical body. <laughs> if you know, if you don't, if you don't know, what I'm talking about the one, the one that killed Kakashi and Shippuden. The Minato is going to be the animal path, which would be the animal summonings. And then the Prada path is going to be um, going to be Garo's mother, which is going to be like, the chakra absorption and chakra like and the chakra shield. The, the Naraka path is going to be um, Kisame. The Naraka path, wait, that's 
it's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven paths. Now, Narcos can have one more path. <laughs> so the Narcos path is the one that has the King of Hell. That's mainly it. And that, that's the one that Keith made. It's again, he's summoned the King of Hell. But Naruto does give them specific outfits, which are going to be like the, um, they, they get like the Hidden Leaf John Noon vest, but on the back of it, it doesn't say like, it doesn't have to do, it, it's all, it's all black. It's all black, but on it, it does say like, on, like, on the back it says Naruto on it. And then they all have Ombu masks on that cover their eyes. So yeah. In Kisame, with shark skin, Naruto gives him like the slight ability to create weapons out of chakra, so he's actually able to make a make a pseudo kameha not kamehameha, a pseudo samehada. And Naruto Naruto would put samehada in a scroll and sit and kind of send it to the hidden to the hidden mist. So yeah. Now Sanada is happy to have Don back and Namaki, and they kind of they kind of just roam, roam the leaf. And what they really do is that they wear headbands on their eyes mainly. Like they have like little blindfolds, like kind of kind of, kind of Gojo wears, but in front of it says Hidden Leaf, or not says, but like the Hidden Leaf, um, the Hidden Leaf says signal on it, little symbol. Now the next arc would be Sasuke Retrieval. Now this one, oh, Sasuke wouldn't have the need to leave. He has Itachi, Itachi, Itachi for the truth and everything. So yeah, Itachi's now officially given back the rank of a ninja, and Kisame throws him in the throws him into the King of Hell. So yeah, Itachi's fully healed. And a back at full power, being one, being one of the strongest shinobi alive. And then it was revealed, like, they, oh yeah, Itachi betrayed them by killing Kisame. That, that, that's what was said. Yeah, Kisame was killed by Itachi. And then the next arc, I guess, was, this would be in Shippuden. But I'm going to go over what happened during during these two years of training. And during these two years, Tenten, Tenten, Sakura, Hinata, they, and you know, all trained under, under Tsunade. Because, well, they, the teams need a healer, and the ones on their team... Or are not are not going to be useful for healing at best. Shino and Choji. That's really it. So, so they they learn healing, and then Rock Lee would train harder with Kakashi and Guy. Kakashi and Guy. Tachi would Tachi would train Sasuke and unlocks unlocks his Mangekyo Sharingan. And then we'd have Shino who just gets a lot of training. Shikamaru is able to actually become the head of the Naruto clan by surpassing Shikaku in strength. Not I'm just Shikaku in strength. Then Choji becomes the head clan head as well by by, by defeating Choza. And yeah. But now I'm gonna go over what happened with Naruto and Jiraiya. And go to Hamaru Tech Long. So when Go to Hamaru Tech Long, Naruto began doing some different kinds of training. As, as, as Naruto, Naruto tapped into as many abilities with his with his Renegon, first one being dimensional travel. He experienced that with Jiraiya, and they will find a dimension where they can actually like with the heavy, the heavy gravity, he avoided that dimension immediately. But they explored the other dimensions, which allowed Jiraiya and Konohamaru to experience different fights and get a lot stronger. They even found found dimension where they found like Kaguya's documents and everything. And yeah. Now with that, Naruto would keep on getting stronger. Or with Jiraiya, who Jiraiya and Jiraiya actually did just go to Mount Miboku and train there with Konohamaru and everything. And Konohamaru was able to learn his whole um his whole like toad summoning in Sage Mode. And then Jiraiya was actually able to master Sage Mode. Naruto already had mastered Sage Mode. And, yeah. And I guess the next arc is Kazakage Retrieval. And, yeah. And Naruto's new um, Genkai learned over time was Steel Release, where he's able to make like, a metal appear on his body, or make it seem like it. So we go to uh, I guess the Kazakai. Well, first, 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 Naruto returns to Hidden Leaf. Meets everyone, and Naruto looks a lot like how he does in 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 Naruto the Last. Just the black jacket, the orange pants, all that. But his hair is a lot longer. It goes down, it goes down to like his chin, like kind of like, like Minato's hairstyle. And Gara's mother, like the path of that path of pain, stays with Gara, and they're able they're able to talk. Walk everything like 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 a like normal person. They have to wear bandanas or headbands around their eyes. Like every kind of pain is able to, able to wander and communicate like like normal people. They have to wear headbands around their eyes so, so no one no one sees who they are. It's kind of hard for Kisame, so he has to wrap, wrap himself in bandages where his skin where his skin is in, is exposed. And then Kazuka, we're gonna go over the Kazuka, Kazuka retrieval mission. That mission is more or less save Datara and um and uh, and Sasori from being murdered. That's really it. 
when they try to attack the when they try to attack the hidden sand. Gar uses his success power and immediately covers the whole hidden sand and barrier barrier of sand. So by the time it starts exploding, well, Data is not is not doing shit to it. By the time I realize that he's not doing a thing to the sand, he's questioning Data Saucer like, how strong is this kid? He's supposed to be recent like a recent Kage. He shouldn't be that strong. But suddenly the sand all is bursting one giant giant spear and cut, cuts Data clean in half. Suddenly it points right right at Saucery. Saucery's like uh, please don't kill me. But immediately, Chia would run down, would run in the spear, saying, "God damn it, Sasori, come, come here now." Sasori would use his like his gigantic, not gigantic, but like army or nation, name, nation, nation destroying puppets, and Chia defeats all those puppets immediately with hers. And then she proceeds to beat the living hell out of Sasori. And then Sasori does return his puppets, not return, but give them to to Conqueror because he doesn't intervene in the fight because Chia started losing. And yeah. Now, Naruto does, does, does get the bodies of um, Sasori and Daedara, and is able to tear out the, tear out the remaining bits of soul and get get all the information. Now, Naruto, Naruto is able to locate the Katsuki bases, and they're now taken over. But yeah, so I'm going to end this part here. One last part to go. Same with, same with, same with the Taijutsu Master Naruto. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, like, subscribe, comment for more. Goodbye.